What does a fixer upper property look like in Silicon Valley? And what does it cost to rehab it so that it's updated and ready to move in? Philip Ma here with eXp Realty. In this video, I'm gonna take a look at this fixer upper house in Redwood City, and I'm gonna assess what the rehab cost would be to make it updated and ready to move in. Now, if you're finding value at any point in this video, don't hesitate to hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification button. Come on, let's go see this house. What did you think of the house? It definitely needs updating throughout the house. But I can tell you from touring it that I didn't see any major structural issues or repairs. I think the renovations needed are largely cosmetic. And I felt like you could move into it if you were going to buy it as your primary residence you could move into it and do your renovations of different parts of the house over time probably the first thing i would do before moving in is just to replace the carpeting and that may be just because i prefer luxury vinyl or engineered hardwood flooring but the kitchen for example and the bathrooms did seem usable in the short term. Next, I'm gonna come up with some estimates on rehabbing this house. And I'm gonna use this rehab cost estimator tool from biggerpockets.com. It's got kind of the basic types of renovation projects that you would do, kitchen, bathroom, painting, and floors. All right, now here's where you can put in the address of the house and it's going to come up with cost estimates that are local to that area. After entering the property address and the renovation projects, the tool gives you this nice report that has a breakout of the estimated rehab costs by room. So for example, each bedroom and because it has the property address, it can pull 
data from the county on the square footage of each room or an approximation, the, the total square footage of the house. And so it provides estimates and breakouts of what the finished material would cost, the construction material, the construction labor, and the overall project cost. And what I did was I took this cost information and I put it into my own spreadsheet. And I sort of combined it with some other costs based on what I saw at the house and what are in the disclosure package. Since this property is listed on the MLS, the listing agent has provided disclosures and a tournament report. So I combined that rehab estimator cost for the bedrooms, the bathrooms, flooring, interior, exterior painting, kitchen, and then I also included section one and two termite recommendations. Those are the repairs that are recommended by the pest control inspector. And then I added in some other expense for landscaping, which for some reason is not covered in the rehab estimator tool and some miscellaneous repairs that might be needed to the roof, the plumbing, the furnace, etc. So the total estimated rehab costs came out to about 191,000. And if I take the square footage of the property 1470 and divide the estimated cost by the square footage, I come out to about $130 per square foot. Now that seems a bit low for the Bay Area, but I have talked to investors in this area who could do a renovation project at $130 a square foot. And it's largely going to be cosmetic renovations like replacing flooring and doing painting, replacing countertops and finishes. So it's not impossible. And again, if you were going to buy the house as your primary residence, you could move in and live in the house and then do these projects over time and not have to bear the full expense up front. If you're an investor, then obviously you are going to have to budget for the total expense up front. Now, if you were an investor and you were going to do a fix and flip of this property, a key piece of information that you would want to know is the after repair value of the property. So you could kind of figure out how much profit you could potentially make. And to approximate the after repair value, I looked at comparable sales for properties in the same area within about a half mile radius that have occurred within the last 60 days. And I came up with three properties that fit that criteria. Now, they are roughly the same size in terms of bedroom, bathroom count as my property. My property is three bedrooms, two baths. However, the square footage of these properties is quite a bit larger, 3,000 in this case, 3,300 and 2,050. My property is 1,470 square feet. And you can see that these properties were selling at anywhere from 1.9 million to 3.2 million. Now, I didn't tour these properties, so I don't know exactly what condition they were in, but based on the marketing descriptions that I saw in the MLS, they were ready to move in properties. They didn't need a lot of renovation. So then what I do, since the square footage of these properties is quite a bit larger, I just took a price per square foot, for square foot and I averaged it for these properties to come up with about $891 per square foot. And then I just took that $891 and multiplied it by the square footage of this house 
and came out to a value of just over 1.3 million. This is just an approximation of after repair value. I think it's fairly conservative because the condition of those comparable properties is probably not going to be as nice as the condition of this fully renovated house that is, is produced by a fix and flip investor. But this just gives you an idea of how much value could be created from doing those renovations that we went over. That is my property tour of a fixer upper house in the Silicon Valley area. My assessment of what the rehab cost would be to make it updated and modern and what the after repair value would be if you were going to fix it up and flip it. If you found value at any point in this video, don't hesitate to hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification button. Don't hesitate to reach out to me if you'd like a free consultation on buying or selling a home in Silicon Valley. My contact details are in the description below this video. I'm Philip Ma with eXp Realty and I look forward to talking with you very soon.